The transfer window is closed and it's certainly been a busier one than I was expecting. Hello and welcome to episode 57 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie, coming up on today's episode I've got the uh, transfer roundup for you and then uh, we'll have uh, two matches on today's episode. We'll be at home to Rotherham in the FA Cup and away at Stoke in the Championship. So let's uh, begin with the uh, transfer roundup and uh, these are the deals that have uh, have gone through in the uh, January window. Uh, first of all, Lucas Cesar has rejoined on loan from Manchester City. So we'll go back in and have a look at him. He's a, a right winger and three and a half star current ability, five star potential, 20 years of age, Brazilian. Very exciting player, very pleased to have him back. Uh, next in through the door was Fabian Logier, who is here on loan from West Ham. He's a striker, gives us uh, more depth up front. Three and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential, 21 years of age, and he's French. And uh, I'm very excited to have him on board. And the next one through the door is uh, a Brazilian, it's João Pedro. Um, he is a left back, uh, he's two star current ability, four and a half star potential and uh, he's been signed very much for the, uh, for the future rather than uh, currently and uh, in terms of departures we've lost Harvey Randall who is a youth team player, Rhys Brailsford also from the youth team, Jay Morgan another um, youth team player has gone out on loan Archie Brown um, was our uh, left back and uh, he's left for Union Berlin because they triggered his release clause and we couldn't convince him to stay. And then finally, Louis Taylor leaves for Bournemouth for £350,000 and that leaves our squad looking like this. So we've got two goalkeepers, Setford and Myers and uh, Setford is a first choice but Rashad Myers is very much uh, a promising uh, one for the future. We've got two right backs, we've got Tom Hamer and Callum Capel, T uh, both equal at three stars on current ability but uh, Capel has the advantage on uh, potential with uh, having four stars compared to Hamer's three then we've got uh, centre backs, we've got Curtis Nelson, Reese Williams, Ivani Sampao and Kenneth Brady. Uh, going from top to bottom, Curtis Nelson is 34 years old, he's now two and a half star current ability and potential. Uh, Reese Williams, 26 years of age, three star current ability and potential. Ivani Sampao, 21 years of age, three and a half star current ability, five star potential. And Kenneth Brady is 20, 3.5 star current ability, 5 star potential. Then at left back we've got Falu Sal, who is 21 years of age, 3 star current ability, uh, 4 star potential. We've got Carl Garbutt, who's 23, 2.5 star current ability, 4 star potential. And then the newly arrived João Pedro, 2 star current ability, four and a half star potential, 19 years of age. We've then got uh, in defensive midfield, Jacob Davenport, 29 years of age, three star current ability and potential, and 27 year old Max Bird, three and a half star current ability and potential. In central midfield, Miguel Aziz, who is four and a half star current ability, and in fact, no, it's three and a half star current ability, my apologies, and four star potential. Regan Slater, who's 28 years old, three star current ability, three star potential. Jason Knight is 26, three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential. And then um, Joe Gelhart's a striker, so we'll ignore him for now. And on the right, we've got Lucas Cesar, who is 20 years of age, 
three and a half star current ability, five star potential. On the left, we've got Ryan Longman, who is two and a half star current ability and potential, 27 years of age. And Daniel Okachukwu, who is uh, 22, three and a half star current ability, four star potential. Then up front, we have got Joe Gelhart, who is 25, three and a half star current ability, four star potential. Then we've got Tyrese John Jules, who is three and a half star current ability and potential. We've got Adamipo Ojibeko, who's three star current ability, four star potential. And the newly arrived Fabian Logier, who is three and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. So that's the uh, transfer update and uh, I will bring you back in a moment for the first match of today's episode. Time now for the uh, first match of today's episode as we face Rotherham in the FA Cup and the team that is going to go out there and try and get the win is Charlie Setford in goal, a back four of Callum Capel, Kenneth Brady, Ivani Sampal and Falu Sal. We've got Regan Slater at the base of midfield, Miguel Aziz in central midfield, Max Bird alongside him. We've got Lucas Cesar on the right, Tyrese John Jules on the left wing, and Fabian Logier up front. Let's submit the team and go and do a team talk. Okay, I'm uh, fully expecting us to win this one, so I am going to disagree with the uh, assistant. I'm going to pump the fists and say we're favourites and I want us to play like it. Okay, let's uh, kick the match off and uh, see how we get on. And it's Rotherham who get us underway. Thompson plays it by the boxer. Harding into Laurent. Harding to boxer. Smith. And that's cut out by Derby. We have it back with Lucas Cesar. Brady. Aziz into uh, Logier, Slater, his ball's cut out, and it's Coyote to Thompson, Rotherham on the attack now, Smith, shots charged down, we have it back through John Jules and the highlight ends, so let's demand more. And it is a left wing corner, Slater with it for Derby, the header from Brady is close but uh, off target and that ends that highlight 10 minutes in, we've both had one attempt at goal, didn't hit the target either of us, it's still 0-0 and this game is very much still anyone's for the taking Let's demand more again. And it is back with Setford who plays it short to Sam Powell. Sow runs forward with it down the left. John Jules into Bird. Bird plays it through for Logier. His shot is charged down. And then Boxer hammers it away for Rotherham. And that highlight ends. So we've just not quite had it up front in terms of creating a, a good scoring opportunity, but uh, we're playing okay. It's uh, Bacaro into Thompson, Coyote left to Bacaro, feeds it back to Smith, Bacaro gets it again, Laurent back to Harding. We cut it out through Sao. John Jules runs over halfway down the left wing. And he's looking for help. Goes for a deep cross. All the way out to Capel on the right. Capel fires it into the middle. And it's deflected behind by Boxer for a corner. It's Lucas Cesar with the in swinging corner. Can't clear the first man and Smith will bring it away for Rotherham. He's over halfway but he's tackled by Max Bird. 
It's out for a throw in which we don't see. Let's demand some more. I think I clicked the, uh, the wrong button there. Never mind. We'll demand more next time. We've created more chances. We have a marginal advantage on uh, XG, but uh, neither of us is actually at the target yet with a shot. So it's been rather disappointing in attack for both teams. And that remains the case as Rotherham have a shot that is well off target. So let's demand more. Make sure I get the right button this time. Slater into Bird. Bird goes backwards to Brady. Goes right to Capel. Down the line for Lucas Cesar. Back to Capel who crosses. The header hits the crossbar and is then cleared. And it will be a throw in which Sow will take but we won't see it. And that is half time. It's Derby County nil. Rotherham nil. So uh, shooting has not been good enough. Absolutely. We'll have a look at potential subs. One obvious one is leaping off the page at me. Lucas Cesar off. And... Um, who should we bring on? We'll go with Okachukwu coming on. And let's see if that can make a decisive difference in the early minutes of the second half, which we get underway. Sampao to Sao. John Jules on the left. Infield to Aziz, but he loses the ball. And it's Coyote, but his pass is cut out by Sampao and the highlight ends. So we're going to demand more as soon as we get the chance to do so. And, um, John Jules looks like he needs to come off. Um, we'll bring on Oji Becker. Who can play out of position temporarily and then for our final change I don't know um, Randall brings it clear for Rotherham and gets tackled Logier gives it to Capel Aziz down the line for Okachukwu who finds Aziz, cuts it back. The shot is deflected. No, it's not deflected. It was directly wide. Right, final change is going to be Bird for Davenport. Okachukwu with the in swinging corner. Sam Powell's header is mar marginally off target. Uh, let's demand more. We are the only ones to have a shot on target, but it is only one shot. In fact, it's now two. And But it's been a very disappointing match so far. Capel to Aziz. Gets it, Capel gets it back. Goes down the line for Logier, but the ball is lost. Rotherham have hit the crossbar. It's then cleared. And we're into the last 10 minutes or so. Logier hasn't impressed on his debut, but we need to give him time to settle in. It's not fair to judge him on just one match. And we're into the last few minutes. It's a corner. Slater with the in-swinger. And... It's cleared. Slater should get there first and does. Davenport to Sam Powell to Slater. Ojibeko to Davenport to Slater. Into Logier who finds Ojibeko. Heavy first touch and Rudd collects. And it's 
headed forward by Derby, Okachukwu to Slater, into Logier who finds Aziz, Davenport, but he blazes over the crossbar. That was probably the best chance of the match so far. It's Rudd to Harding, into Thompson, back to Boxer. Harding goes for the long ball over the top, which is intercepted. Brady to Capel, Aziz to Logier. It's played by to Jebeko, and uh, Rotherham intercept. It's with Harding, who goes for the long ball. Headed down, Davenport collects, Slater, but his ball is cut out by Galloway. Galloway down the left. Gets his cross in, it's looping high in the air. It's come down on the top of the net and it's out for a corner. Pritchard with the in-swinging corner. Setford makes the save and it's out for another corner. So we're going to go attack him for the last couple of minutes. As Randall collects for Rotherham near the halfway line. Galloway crosses, but it's only picked out by a Derby shirt. And we get it back, but the highlight ends. Can we get one more chance to win the match? The answer is potentially yes. Okachukwu with the cross, headed away. And Odjubeko is offside. That will surely be the last chance. It is. It ends Derby County nil, Rotherham nil, and I will see you for the second match of the episode in just a moment. Time now for the second match of today's episode as we face the uh, trip to Stoke City for a uh, match in the Skybet Championship. The team that's going to go there and try and win the match is Charlie Setford in goal, back four of Tom Hamer, Ivani Sampao, Reese Williams, and Falu Sao. Jacob Davenport is at the base of midfield, Jason Knight and Max Bird in central midfield, Daniel Okachukwu on the right wing, Tyrese John Jules on the left, Joe Gelhart returns up front. Let's submit the team and go and do the team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending, uh, saying that we're doing well and on a good run, keep it going. I completely agree, so we're going to um, point the finger and say that. And let's uh, get the uh, match underway and see if we can go and grab that win. Okay, we're underway. It's Stoke who uh, kick off, and it's Neville to Lawrence to Cafaro. Uh, Rogers down the left for Stoke into Lawrence. Back to Neville. Fish. Uh, it's out to the right wing now, and Hinton. And Hinton goes all the way to the byline, gets his cross in, but it's it's only uh, picked out by a Derby shirt. We bring it away, Okachukwu, but the highlight ends. So we're going to demand more. It's early, but we need to get on the front foot and uh, try and take advantage of our game in hand. It's Lawrence with the throw on the left for Stoke. O'Hare gives it back to Lawrence. Gifaro to Lawrence again, his cross is headed away and John Jules collects, runs down the left wing for Derby, finds Max Bird in central midfield, he goes for the big switch but only picks out Lawrence in the uh, Stoke back four, they launch it long but we uh, win the header and Okachukwu is on the attack, he's found Joe Gelhart and the shot is off target, it's a goal kick for Stoke, big opportunity wasted. Although according to the XG it was only a, a small opportunity, demand more. Knight down the right wing, crossed in, header is off the woodwork and out for a goal kick. And it's uh, Derby in possession, Okachukwu to Knight. Knight finds Gelhart, who's going to need some help, gets it from Hamer. His shot is wide. I think a cross might have been more effective there. But uh, we have the cross this time. It's headed down in the penalty area and then scrambled away by Stoke. 
Hamer brings it uh, back over halfway, finds Sam Pau, who crosses, but uh, his cross is headed away. Rogers brings it over halfway for Stoke. Down the left wing. Plays it back. Cafaro with the cross in, headed down by a Derby defender. Davenport launches it long, too long, and it's through to Maynard Brewer, the Stoke goalkeeper. He finds a Stoke shirt on the halfway line. They swap passes, but we re-intercept the ball. Kafaro has it back for Stoke. It's a very scrappy phase of play at the moment. And that was a shot just wide by Stoke. It remains 0-0. 22 minutes gone. No shots on target as of yet. Stoke have a free kick. And it's headed clear by John Jules. Hinton keeps it in on the left for Stoke. Uh, Rosier Cafaro just wide. We're going to need to demand more as soon as possible. And it's Bird to Davenport down the right wing for Okachukwu. Finds uh, Knight. Okachukwu has it back. Hamer beats his man, gets a cross in to the back stick, but he can only pick out the goalkeeper. So we will demand more at this stage. Half an hour gone, just one shot on target. It is us that's had it. We are ahead on XG, but both are extremely low. And it looks like Okachukwu is going to be the one withdrawn at half time. Although I'm considering two changes. Uh, very much depends on the last few minutes of the first half. The cross is into the middle. Uh, it's cleared by Stoke. Hamer brings it forward, finds Sam Pau, who picks out Okachukwu. His shot is blocked. It's away for a corner. We're into the last two minutes or so. It's Davenport with the in-swinging corner into the centre, headed away by Sanderson for Stoke. And that highlight ends. We're into the stoppage time, of which there is one minute. And it's O'Hare down the left for Stoke. Passes it in field, but it's given away. And Knight brings it clear for Derby. Gelhart has the shot, charged down. It's out for a throw in. And that is the last highlight of the first half. So it First half end, Stoke City nil, Derby County nil. So we will um, remind the, the uh, team that the fans turn up through thick and thin. Uh, let's uh, see if we can turn thin into slightly thicker. Okachukwu needs to come off for Lucas Cesar. Joe Galhart off for Logier. See if he can have more impact off the bench than he did starting in the previous game. Let's demand more. As we get the second half underway, Williams brings it forward for Derby, gives it to Bird, who only picks out a Stoke defender. And that highlight is over very, very quickly. So we're going to need a demand more. It's a left wing throw, Sow to Williams, Sow gets it back, gives it to Williams again. It's uh, Bird into Logier, Knight, why is Logier so deep? Knight to Cesar, Cesar's shot is dragged wide and it's a goal kick. What role is Logier playing? Advance forward, so he shouldn't be dropping that deep. It's over the top, it's Knight, plays it back, and it's stabbed in by Lucas Cesar, Stoke City nil, Derby County 1, and if it stays like this we will have taken advantage of our game in hand to close in on the playoff places. So Knight pulled it back, Logier shot. And Lucas Cesar was there to mop up the bits after a rebound. And the final substitution is going to be the left back, Sao, coming off. I think. We'll bring on Curtis Nelson and then we'll rejig the uh, 
back four. So we'll swap the full backs over, move Hamer to left back, Nelson to right back, and we'll confirm those changes. It is a free kick to Derby, but we don't get to see it. Maynard Brewer restarts for Stoke, but we win it back on halfway. Cesar into Knight, Logier gives the ball away. He's had a better game this time, but I've still not seen, in terms of his uh, match rating, he's had a better game. Anyway, I've still not seen anything from him, in an attacking sense at least. But, uh, Stoke have possession. Sanderson and Hinton is off target with his shot. It remains 1-0. Setford plays it short to Sampao. Williams goes for a longer ball, finds uh, John Jules on the left. John Jules plays it wide right for Cesar. Cesar is held up briefly but then finds a cross. John Jules with the header, slightly over the bar. And we're into the last 20 minutes. And no subs left, so the only thing we can do is demand more or go attacking. We'll go with demand more for now. Bird, short to Hamer. John Jules with the cross to the back post. Knight has a shot, but Lucas Cesar is offside. We're into the last 15 minutes or so. And... It's Stoke in possession in their own half through Fish. He goes backwards to Neville into midfield and Rosier. Campbell is tackled and Setford picks up the loose ball. So we're going to go to attacking. We're going to demand more as well as soon as we're inside the last 10 minutes and able to do so. So we're in the last 10 minutes, but the option is still not there yet. It is now, so we'll do it. And we're into the last couple of minutes or so of normal time. Derby have it with Hamer to Davenport. Logier finds Knight. Knight goes right to Nelson. Nelson on the overlap gets a cross in, but it's blocked and away for a corner. And it is Davenport with the in-swinging corner. The header is over the crossbar. And we are into three added minutes. And it's Williams for Stoke. Gives it to Lawrence. Barlow to Dobson. Fish plays it wide to Sanderson. Sanderson's cross is blocked. It's away for a corner. Into the last half minute of added time. So this will be the last chance of the match, surely. It's headed away. But Hinton collects the uh, loose ball, crosses. Headed away again. And that is the final whistle. It ends Stoke City nil, Derby County 1. Join me in a moment for the league table and uh, what's coming up on tomorrow's episode. Okay, time now to uh, take a look at the league table. And uh, the league table has us in seventh position with 50 points from 30 matches. We have a game in hand on absolutely everybody above us in the table. We are one point adrift of the playoffs. So for the first time in quite a while, the, our playoff fate is actually in our own hands. And uh, let's have a look now at the schedule and uh, at what you can look forward to on tomorrow's episode. So I will play quite a few games I think off camera and I'll bring you back at the start of March for the back-to-back -back home games against Brighton and Reading. So uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to my channel for weekly, uh, sorry, weekday football manager videos Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.